just got my Motor Trend magazine, January edition, and in it, uh, page 21, there is a wonderful article about the new Chevrolet Corvette Z06 for 2023, and it really is an amazing story, spectacularly unhinged, leaves you wanting nothing more except more seat time, the best around. Boy, I'll tell you, they just, <laughs> if only I could buy one, you can't even buy one. I mean, the list's a mile long everywhere. Some more on the second page, uh, and then over here on the final page, um, the, the car feels light and delicate and also indestructible. Drive it hard, it can take it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's pretty good. Notice up here, under base price and prices tested, prices tested $158,000. So I got thinking, $158,000, wait, hold, 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 hold. My car out there in the garage is a 2020 C8 Corvette, and it's $80,000. That thing there is almost 160, almost doubled within a couple of thousand dollars. The Z06 is close to double the price of my car sitting out in the garage. So do I want to spend double what I paid for this car to get Kind of like the one that Motor Trend just tested? Or can I do something else that can bring my car close to the level or maybe even above the C8 Z06? So that's what we're gonna look into today. What options do you and I have as C8 owners or potential C8 owners? I don't wanna spend 160 grand. I only wanna spend 80 grand like I've got out in the car there and get a really nice option car. I mean, I've got 2LT, Z51, magnetic ride. It has everything I want on it. It's just really a well-appointed car, a well-option car. So uh, let's go take a look at what options our little mere mortal, mortal uh, little C8 owners have. What can we do to, to uh, boost up our C8 so it can run with the Big dog. On August 25th, 2022, the Callaway team presented their supercharged Corvette C8 development vehicle at Corvettes of Carlisle in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. The triple cooled supercharged system is configured for Stingray coupes and hardtop convertibles, uh, with production scheduled, scheduled to be commenced in early 2023. The supercharger system will not be sold as a standalone kit. Instead, new and pre-owned Corvette C8s will be converted to Callaway Corvette Supercharged C8 specifications at their Connecticut and California factories. Cars will be purchased from a Chevrolet, Chevrolet dealer within a network of Callaway authorized dealers if you're buying a new car. Pre-owned 2020 and 20 to 2023 Stingrays are also eligible for conversion through Callaway's Second Chance program. Callaway Corvette Supercharged C8 will be backed by a three-year, 36,000-mile warranty, which supplements the vehicle's GM factory warranties, an optional five-year, 60,000-mile Callaway powertrain service contract will also be available in, in, be available in service, can be performed at GM dealers. So there you go. Looks pretty interesting. I'm sure it'll be around 700 horsepower. I'm figuring. And by the way, I'll also provide a link to all four companies that we talk about here today so you can go right onto their website and take a look. Lingenfelter has come out with a very good looking Magnuson supercharger and it really does look like a game changer. It's the TBS 2650 for C8 Corvettes 700 horsepower. 700 horsepower tra uh, package, that's pretty good. And the pricing is around $24,950. Might as well say $25,000. It sounds very, very interesting. Here's a really interesting part. 675 foot-pounds of torque. Take a look at the torque on the new Z06 Corvette. It's only 400 some odd foot-pounds. This is 675. Hmm. 
This could be quite a challenger for the uh, new Z06 Corvette, at least on a straight line, I think. We'll see. Uh, they use the, uh, what they call a CKEL process to um, directly calibrate the factory EMC, and it doesn't require any supplemental piggyback devices. I like that. Uh, very, very interesting. A three-year, 36,000-mile warranty is available. Dyno certified. And how about this? The dual-clutch transmission is track pep prepped. Track prepped means that I would think, it, to me it means that it's not going to uh, be a problem. <laughs> They're probably going to beef it up. Sounds pretty good. Optional upgrades that are available uh, on this car, the big one here is half shafts, G4's Outlaw half shafts, which I would definitely order. They have the usual course of performance, exhaust and headers and Alcon brakes and a lowering kit. Uh, the two places they will do the installs are Decatur, Indiana and Wixom, Michigan. Uh, or uh, they can, you can have them uh, installed, the supercharger installed by an approved Lingenfelter installer, which I think they're setting up all around the country. And they're trying to spot them so that they're evenly distributed around the country so everybody has a shot to drive somewhere to have their supercharger put on. And I'd rather have somebody professional, like a professional, to put my supercharger on than me fussing around with it. First time, as you know, you, <laughs> you make a lot of mistakes. Procharge has been around for a long time, and their technology is almost 30 years old, and they have a lot to offer, too. Especially, this is more like a do-it-yourself kind of system. These are set up so that you can do it yourself. You don't need to have somebody professionally install the system onto your car. They have a excellent rich above this red Corvette. There's a Pro Charger 101. Uh, if you want to know about all uh, HOs versus the Stage 2 versus the Tuna Kids versus systems and intercooling and all that and much more, uh, you all want to go down and look at uh, the Pro Charger 101 Click on that, and that'll take you uh, to an interesting section of the website that'll uh, inform you pretty well. And then we have some uh, YouTube videos, as usual, and um, get a look at those. I would take a look at those YouTube videos to see what's going on there, too. to give you some idea what you what you want and what you're interested in. So take a look. Uh, this is well worth looking at, too. Especially if you're a do-it-yourself, this would be right up your alley, I'm sure. So keep an eye on Pro Charger there. Uh, another alternative uh, that you can use. LMR Racing Late Model Racecraft. They're down in Texas. Very interesting company. They make really, really, really fast C8 Corvettes. They, uh, as you notice in the... Uh, video here or the the web page that they have a video of them setting a new C8 world record with one of their cars from their shop and uh, it's pretty impressive and uh, you can read all about them on their web page they are very very interesting place 1500 horsepower I mean if you want to go really really fast they can pretty much make it happen for you 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. That's crazy. Uh, one year, 12,000 mile warranty. Lots of stuff going on. Lots of very interesting stuff to read. They can even do a pro charger, uh, supercharger. So there are four, four very, very interesting companies. Uh, I hope you enjoyed them. Um, we'll wrap this up for you now. So, do you have a C8 and you want to supercharge it? I think you should consider a couple of things. First of all, you should consider getting the at least the 2LT for your car because that gets you the uh, performance data recorder. And uh, I would also get the Z51 because that gives you the handling package and the Mag Ride together with those, all together you get performance traction management. If you haven't seen performance structure managed before, I have a whole video on that. So go take a look. So what do you think? Is it worth putting a supercharger on your C8? I think it's really worth it. 
You need to go as fast or faster than the new Z06. Is that something that you'd like to do or maybe you don't care about it? I'd be curious to hear your comments and I read them all by the way, so, <laughs> and I appreciate your comments. Um, so, if you do uh, put on a supercharger, um, what do you think that's gonna happen to your warranty? I mean, I know some of them are offering warranty deals, but um, what's gonna happen to your warranty? That's another thing that needs to be considered when you're doing something like this. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Like if you like the video, subscribe. We love subscribers, especially new ones. And it's the old guys that have been hanging around with me for a couple of years now. I appreciate what you're all doing. And uh, so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you down the road.